What is up? I'm gonna try a little experiment here. I hope it works. And it might fail. But basically this is my 2001 Dodge Durango that I still use. And um, air conditioning kind of sucks in it. It works, but it's not cold. Especially if you sit like at idle. Kind of warms up a little bit. It's better when you're driving or if you keep the RPMs up. Notice that when I'm a gauges on, the suction's always kind of up there a little bit. Um, the charge, I've dialed it in so many times, you know, per the weight, which is like 2.4 or 4 pounds or something like that. This is a dual EVAP system. It's got the front and rear. Um, I had my friend who used to have one of these, and several people tell me that the Durangos just are like that. He said, especially he said the air wasn't great, and it really sucked when you were stopped. So... It works pretty, works better in our newer Dodge over there, and it's ice cold in that old 96 GT over there. So, I guess you really notice it when you have better air, better air in the other vehicle, so. Uh, anyway, one thing I noticed about these things is, uh, you know, the, when you charge it, the suction, I mean, the superheat's high. Suction is warm. It's as if it doesn't have enough refrigerant, but the pressure is way up there, so it's, it's not a restriction or anything. It's just like it doesn't have enough refrigerant in the evaporator. Um, and then when you uh, hit the RPMs, the suction comes down. It's also moving more refrigerant, too, because the pump's spinning faster and it seems to work a little better. But if you add any extra refrigerant to the point where the suction starts getting a little cooler at idle, it seems like it's, you know, then your your uh, high side goes up, especially when you hit the, the RPMs up there a little bit. It's almost like there's not enough condenser on these. Um, and, uh, like the other day I was showing my friend he was ah I bet you it's bigger than mine and he's got just a regular cab old Chevy truck I said let's go look at yours so that's my condenser from here to there you know from here down and uh, we go pop the hood on his truck and it's every bit as big as that at least and it's only got one evaporator so it's almost as like there's not enough area for the refrigerant uh, it does have a receiver uh, dryer right there. I assume that's got a little bit of capacity in it. So I'm going to hold some of this 2.44 pounds of refrigerant. I'm going to do an experiment. We get these uh, spine fin coils from refrigerators at work. And I kind of just, I got a smaller one that I kind of, it's running down in there. I want to put that in line with the condenser to, um, course reject a little more heat more efficiently and also just a little more space to store refrigerant and see if I can what happens with the charge so it's just an experiment uh, the only risky thing I'm going to be doing about it is when I cut this aluminum line I'm going to splice I think right here and then bring the line over into it and then this coming back or actually this is coming out what? why do you disturb me daddy's doing a video of course, the first thing to do is recover the refrigerant. Right, this was a pain in the butt, especially since the nuts were stubborn to go over the aluminum. I had to kind of brush it down a little bit. So I just got to tighten these up. Got to just braise this up. I just got to uh, tighten up the flare nuts and kind of bend this copper in and strap it. So it's going to be put some insulation in here. I got to strap it that way and tighten that up. Gotta make it so the hood will shut. <laughs> then time to pressure test it. Held pressure test, so we'll see what happens. I charge it up. This is just a weak link right here. If it blows, and I guess I'll just have to try to uh, do another flare nut right here and down on that other one. That'll suck, but. Yeah, it didn't come out too bad in the end. It looks pretty cool. Oh, I'm going to go 
take a drive up to the corner store and back to make sure this thing don't blow up. Pull the lines. Still a hundred out. Bounce around 69 and I know it's pretty shitty still. Turn on red. I don't know what the heck is going on. Is <laughs> the right turn on? I mean, that truck just sitting on his ass. Truck in front of that car. Gosh. Wait until a green light. Now he's going. Blow. The air blows really hard coming out those vents. But I think the Mustang is still colder. So, I don't know, maybe I'll drive this to work a few times. That'll be the test to see if it's better or not. 